So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to 18th tutorial in C programming in which we're going to see how we can work with loops in C, starting off with for loop. Now loops is a pretty interesting concept overall in all the languages because how the way they work and reduce your um, code a lot by a lot and in some cases you, you cannot even code a feature without using loops. So a loop what it does is that it takes a bunch of instructions and run them over and over again and again, right? So these are functions, you know, variables, loops. These are some of the fundamental building blocks of a programming language. And uh, trust me, there is no programming language in which they are not really present. No high level programming language, I should rather say. Loops are not really available. I think in assembly also loops are available. You can use a native loop instruction on x86 architecture, um, but uh, I'm not really sure if that is like cross platform or something. But anyway, coming back to C, how you can implement loops is there are a bunch of ways, but we're gonna see the first one, which is really popular. So we're gonna make use of a statement called for. So I'm gonna first of all write the statement and then I'm gonna explain it to you. So I'm gonna say, for the simplicity, and I'm gonna write All right, so what the heck is happening here? So you see, I wrote this line. Let's just go it step by step. So I wrote an expression called for and started it off just like we started a function with the parenthesis. Then here, I wrote some sort of initialization of a variable. So I wrote initialization of a variable int i equal to zero, just like we do it outside for other um, variables, for example, x equal to zero, just like that. Then I said a condition, just like we write inside if else block, i less than 10. If I, I usually do like x less than five, for example, we did it in the last videos. So if that is the case, this should execute, right? This is what it means. In terms of loop, this condition means that if this is true, then this should execute, right? And then finally, we write an expression, what should happen? So I can do something like x equal to x plus 100, right? Similarly, I can do i equal to i plus 1, right? So what's going on here is that your compiler would take the current x value, 0, and add it to 100, and then assign it back to x. So x now becomes 100. If I do x equal to x plus 30 now, so what compiler would do is take the current x value, put it here, and would return you x equal to 130. Similarly, in this case, what is going to happen, at each iteration, every time this particular block runs, i would become one more than its previous value. So the first iteration, the first iteration, i is zero, right? i less than trend is true, Right, so these two conditions, this is true and this is the case. So the printf happens, right? So uh, let's see, I'm gonna write, write it like this and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and write it like run, for the run. For second iteration, i is one, i less than 10 is true, it runs, right? So it happens over and over again till we reach, let's say the ninth iteration. For the ninth iteration, i is eight. You can figure it out when i is zero, iteration number is one. When i is one, iteration number is two. So when i is eight, iteration number is nine, right? So i less than 10, yes, it is. So we run it. For the 10th iteration, i is equal to nine, i less than 10 is again true, we run it. But for 11th iteration, what happens is i is now 10, because after running this code, we have i plus plus, i plus equal to one at every step. We have i plus equal to one at every step. This is how i increments, i plus equals to one at every step. But after the 10th iteration, when this happens, in the 11th iteration, i enters as the value 10. 
Now when that happens, 10 less than 10 actually fails, which is this condition. So this fails, this means that do not run. So it does not run it, right? And it comes out of the loop. This is how you exit the loop. So for example, if I go ahead and just remove this, if I go ahead and run this code, GCC tutorial 18.c and a dot out, right? So you see, we get an output like loop zero, loop one, loop two, loop three, loop four, loop five, all the way to loop nine. So it quits at loop nine because I told you when I becomes 10, this loop does not run because 10 less than 10 is false. It's not a true condition. What happens if I, however, go ahead and initialize, declare I here, but initialize it in here so that I can access it outside the loop as well. If you just write it here, you cannot really use I when the loop ends. This is why I wrote the declaration part outside the loop now. So I can actually write finally I is equal to and then the number and I can give it I. Just give it a moment to think about what should be the output of this printf. Finally, I equal to what should be the value. We just discussed that I when I was 10, the loop exits. So it's, it's, it's pretty much obvious that when you run this loop, it should be 10. Why? Because at the 11th iteration, when it comes out of the loop, I is in fact 10. And there's nothing happening after that. So it remains 10. So yeah, yeah, that's, that's basically it for a very brief introduction to loops in C. I hope this is not overwhelming. If it is, don't worry, just play it around, play around with it a little bit and you will become comfortable with loops real quick. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the for loop part. That's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next video.